my kid around on a big wheel for the past one and a half. Yes, yes, yes. Back at it, back at it. Yes, sir. With the Dawn Core and D Rig and Hippie Show, we are your hosts. Dawn Core. The highest hippie in the room. Core like D Rig and that. Hippie. You don't like grass it up. Go ahead, do it again. Go ahead. We back at it with the Dawn Core and D Rig and Hippie Show. We are your hosts. Dawn Core. And the highest hippie in the room. D Rig and Hippie, of course. You know, we back at it. Episode 148. We was just discussing um, Drake saying his excuses. CLB. Of why he hasn't dropped his album yet. CLB. I just think he didn't want to drop any. We got. I don't think it's ready. I don't think it's ready. I think it's ready. I don't think it's ready. Because that's what he kind of is saying. I haven't dropped it because I haven't been, you know, focused on my project. Da, da, da. So it doesn't sound like it's ready. He hasn't been able to get it ready because he's been rehabbing on his scooter. So why drop that song? He always drops the songs. Maybe he didn't get the right reception? True enough, true enough. Maybe he didn't get the right reception that he wanted? Is that possible? I don't think so. I, I mean, the, even you're talking I about like shit? Yeah, even I like that. Oh, no, no. Maybe, I mean, he might Maybe have just thrown that out. one off, you know, just, yeah, like, it's on the TV on the album, like number 12 or something. You, like know that. Like, you know he likes having number one hits, right? That's his thing. Mm -hmm. Singles. You think that's that's what the album is going to sell like? What? That's in. Yeah. Now with the title certified lover boy, you talking about you got there talking about they bring Drake to the hoods around Drake around Drake's. So I just mm -hmm. um, I don't see how that's fair. You know how but I am. Those bro. type of features, right? But you know how I am. When it comes when I hear an album title, I like to think that the album surrounds that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the Pimple Butterfly. That's why that's one of my favorite albums, because when I first heard it, it's like not the album, but the name. It's like the Pimple Butterfly. You look at the cover, you're like, all these now you got ghetto to ass niggas on the now you got White House break lawn down what he's to Pimple Butterfly. I don't get it. Yeah, now you got to try to break that, down. You know, I don't it. even understand the album until I get to the end of the the, the album, the end of the poem. We talking the pot. That shit made me cry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just for it to like me be searching for what is what is he saying? What is he trying to Pimple Butterfly? What is he saying? What is he saying? And then it get there and it's like, oh shit. Yeah. So I'm I'm a substance guy. So when I hear certified lover boy and my son has been only like but well, basically making the, the best female R uh hip hop R B ballads for the past uh eleven years or so. So since his first single. Past 11 years, so I would think you know that this would be the album where he explores that a little more because we've been wanting him to make a rap album and shit like that. Maybe he indulges into you know, I'm that guy, I'm the certified love boy. I don't listen to his projects like that, so all, all his projects like half and half. What half and half, what rap and singer? Yeah, no. So, well, uh, most what is what does his content contain because I don't listen to his albums in full length. What is content contained or, or the format of his songs? There's what two different questions. I mean, it you depends. You rap? All right, what was it the depends. A little bit both, but more rap to me. Let me rap a little more on that. Take it. Classic. Um, little of both. That's probably the blend. That's probably the album where it was the blend. Nothing more. Um, nothing nothing was the same. Yeah. I'm just trying to see what. Pretty different album. I'm, I'm gonna have to listen Perfect. to his album. I'm, I, I just, I'm just trying to see what he does. You know what's funny? Listening to his albums now, in this time, you might like it. I mean, I mean, I you might like his albums. I'm not saying that this shit is, this is all fire and dope, yeah. but I think you like you'll start to see why. I, I mean, I listen to Take Care of all the way. I listen you have to, to listen to the classics. I listen to some of them, but I don't know, whatever. I think that's why he only has one classic and why I Take Care is that because he blended that so well. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Where How many tracks is on Take Care? I think 12, maybe 15. I think that's why it's Oh, well, that's a text I should not open. <laughs> mm. Real quick, sorry. Damn. That I hate that. I shouldn't have seen that red. 
They really should have. <laughs> you didn't deserve that today. That was for tomorrow. Yeah, no way. <laughs> um, I got 19 on uh, Deluxe. I don't got the other regular shit probably. Though. Probably 15, man. He probably added like four songs on there. Mm -hmm. like Alright, cool. Um, I don't know. Everybody's anticipating this album, so let's see what happens when it comes. Like we we was just we just spoke about it, so y'all go to the last episode, check that out. I think I believe the clip is up. And before we get into it, LCS man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to all the um Long time listeners since first day time one. Listeners, Shout out to the first time, time listeners. listeners. You know what I mean? All the viewers. Yeah, man. Shout out to all the um all the people that listen to us on audio. I see the numbers going up on there too. Thank you very much to everybody on audio, you know what I mean? So we just gonna keep hitting y'all with that content and we was talking behind the scenes and you know getting back to it. Working some stuff out, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have some stuff coming we out. We ain't Going nowhere, we ain't going nowhere. You know who theme song that is, right? We can't who. You know who theme song that is. Don't play yourself. Cause it's bad boy for life. That's Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski theme song. Every time they win the championship game, <laughs> he plays that shit. He be like, mm -mm. he would Gronk gr be like. You know, we just do what we do. But we ain't gonna get into that right now. <laughs> I mean, we get into sports a little later. Um, where you wanna start? Where we starting at, man? Where you wanna start? a couple start. things, I don't know, There's man. a few things on that. Yeah, on Dave Chappelle caught the vid. Yeah, man. Prayers up to Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? Dave, Dave be all right. He'll be in his next stand-up. He'll be talking shit. You know, but, um, best yeah, wishes to uh, him and his family. We had a couple passings. Uh, we'll just say rest in peace. We could get into it. Um, Hank Aaron. Rest in peace, Hank Aaron. And Larry King passed away as well. Yeah, Larry King. And somebody, somebody else, else passed away. Somebody. I hope I'm not being disrespectful. Somebody else passed away. I think it's just the Hank Aaron shit. But it's like. just that I think that it's taking a different toll from the beginning of last year where it was like untimely deaths. These are elderly people that they saying passed away in their beds and shit like that. So, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They said uh, Larry King passed from COVID. Oh, what? But you know, that's probably not the I'm truth. I'm trying to get, I had a quote from him that I always love. Larry King? Mm -hmm. oh. I thought I um, screenshotted it. You, you, you used to pay attention to him? You paid attention to him? Yeah. Larry King? You watched his stuff? Because he had everybody on his shit. It really didn't matter to him. He was, he was a real journalist. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. was just, he was on his job. So I respected his shit as well. Um, My son said, he said, I'm from Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, if you say I'm dangerous, you better be dangerous. A Jew said that. And I don't know why, but that always, like, always stuck with me with him. 86, he seen all the errors. He died at 86 years old, right? I don't mm -hmm. know he 86. That always, that always stayed with me, like, the, the Brooklyn shit, like, what, what? Larry King said that? Mm -hmm. I, Cause you know, you always seen them. 87. You always seen them on the, um, you know, the, the radio in front and talking. I didn't know he was a gangster. Larry King was a gangster, bro. Larry Everybody a gangster. has a pass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, rest in peace to Larry King. Bro. Yeah, I paid attention to him. My, my my grandmother used to listen to his radio show. Yeah. See, that's where we get this gene from, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, when I was younger, I, would, I used to listen to Howard Stern. Howard Stern. I, I watched Howard Stern. Yeah, so. First place I seen titties. Especially, like, our jobs that I had was factory jobs, and that was, like, early in the morning, so I had to listen to that. Mm -hmm. That's the type of shit that was on for me. Before Charlemagne and them came, I mean, we was well, listening to Star, but... Star, Star is the first... Well, I want to say the first person because Ed Lover and Ed Lover and um, Dr. Dre, I will say, are the first two uh, radio personalities that kind of gravitated towards me. Mm -hmm. And then I will say Star and Buckwild because 
they were from the hood. So they'll be on the radio giving you hood reports like uh, house parties and Bushwick. Remember they used to do the gunshot? I don't know about that. Bah, 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 bah. Wow. Yeah, he, man. Because he was I the one. to see Buck on Jefferson. Yeah, he man. was the one that was really in the streets. He was always yeah. like on Howard. On Howard and Jefferson. I'm not yeah. sure if he lived over there. Nah, he was I, just out there. I know he was always on the corner of Jeff and Saratoga. And anybody that's from the hood or been around, and, and, and I mean, uh, early 2000s, late 90s, those just places that you didn't stand around. You might be okay now, you know, with the times, but back then, you wasn't standing around on no fucking Saratoga and Jefferson. Mm-mm. I don't know. I know no way on Howard Avenue. The fuck you standing on Howard for? So they were the, the first that kind of like sparked my interest as far as uh, radio jock. Then I would say Joe Buttons and Miss Jones and shit. So, you know, Larry King is the man. So, I, yeah, that's why I just went in the vein of great, like, radio people that we used to listen to but coming up, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. rest in peace to him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and rest in peace to Hank Aaron, one of the GOATs. Right after right Hank. after Jackie Robinson, you learned about Hank Aaron. Not me. Before, but before Jackie Robinson, like, you learned about Muhammad Ali. Not me. And who you learned about? I learned about Jackie first because he's the first... Uh, baseball, black baseball player, mm -hmm. right, the, 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 the barrier, the color line. So, well, he, how did I just phrase that? You said you learned about Muhammad Ali first, and then Jackie. That's not how I was. I was always taught about Jackie okay. first because, um, whether Ali, you know, is pro black and everything, Jackie was clean cut, and he was just it. Right, so you could you could you could give that to the kids and have them doing that swing and you know what I'm saying without, in a sense, tainting the kids. Once I get to learn about Ali and he telling them I'm not going to fight no Viet Congs. They ain't never called me no nigga. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. I ain't never think about it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But with Jackie, it was like, look, he, he's the first black player. He stole home and da da da. da. So I was like. Oh, I want to stay home. So I heard about Jackie first. Um, and to be honest, before Hank Aaron, I heard, I was, I learned about Willie Mays before Hank Aaron. Being from New York, not as a great. Well, yeah, we go but being from New York. I, I miss it. I heard about Roberto Clemente first. See, you know that's what I'm saying. saying. I didn't know about but Hank Aaron until was... later. Because you got to think about this, not for a second. Who's the home run king when you growing up? Babe Ruth. But not really. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But what are you told? They wasn't playing Hank Aaron. Babe Ruth, face, but mind you, I was they watching put in, you, I was you know baseball about, since four years old. You know old, about so. this, though. You know about the bat point. Yeah. Before Slam and Hank. Yeah, but. How? If he comes. 40 as, years old. Because, like, at seven years old, I started hearing the big numbers that's attached to baseball. 715, mm -hmm. 1,114. Mm -hmm. You um, start to hear the record. I start to hear the record. So now you start researching, you know what I'm saying, and asking like older how people much they and got? shit like that. Yeah. Who's in front of him? By the time we conscious of that, it's 90-something. It's Hank. You know what I'm saying? So it's Hank Aaron. So I'm like, all right, he was the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he never, he always had a batting average above 300 for his whole career, 20 plus years. Yeah, 25 man. years, he made 24 All-Star games, I believe. Yeah. Let me see his shit. While dealing with all that racial shit, and it was, I wouldn't say it's worse, I'm not going to compare it, but it was a little heightened with him because he was chasing Dave Ruth all time records. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say all of them may get death threats. I think Satchel Page got death threats. I think uh, Hank, Hank Aaron, I think Jackie Robinson, and I think all the guys got death threats for just being black, playing a quote unquote white man's game. 25 time All Star, World Series champ, uh, MVP, three time Gold Glove, two time National Grand Champ, four time Home Run Leader, four time RBI Leader. 2,297 2, career RBIs, 6,000. Is he still the leader? I don't think so. 
Yeah, these are his records. MLB records, 2,297 career runs better than. Yeah, 2,000, over 2,000 RBI. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he still, he still holds the record for total bases. He has to. 6,856. 6,856. Total bases. Bases. All right? <laughs> that means you hit a home run, that's four total bases. You hit a double, that's two total bases. You hit a single, that's one. You get it? Triple is three. Total you know bases. Mean? Total bases. So they count that at the end of the game. So if you hit a, you hit a home run and a double and you got warp, that's four, five, six, seven. That's seven that's total seven, bases, seven in, bases in nine innings. You know what I'm saying? And then not to mention if you stole the base or something, that's a base. That's a total base as well. Um... A lot of people don't understand that. Extra base hits, 1477, career record. It's an MLB record. 25 career all-star appearances in 25 years. You know why is that? Because he's black. <laughs> Between, if I get the years wrong, Rob Parker um, DM me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think 55 to 58, they had two all-star games in the year. They used to do two All-Star games, and he made two All-Star games. I'm so glad I'm born that man. Yeah, I was born. That <laughs> shit don't make no sense. You know, just, you gotta do shit like that. Inducted into the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame in 82. 82. Yeah, Trying to walk in 87. 87. You no, know, Mobile, Alabama, all they do is spit out legends. I mean, especially <laughs> from that time, because what else were you going to do? He, and he then once you see, stick and, and once you see that a, a rock in the end, he was like, once you see that color line broke, and you know it was time. Like he said, he looked up in the sky and he was like, "Daddy, I want to fly planes." His pop said, "Oh no, oh no, hey, black, we don't fly planes. We don't be no pilot." He said, "Oh damn, well, daddy, then I want to play ball. I want to play baseball." Oh no, hey, oh no. Black people don't play no bat, no baseball. We can't no no. So what the mean? fuck I'm gonna do? You're supposed to work at the Ford factory. Supposed to work at the farm. Nah, I'm good. Bell is kind. I'm good on that. There's certain people with that soul that's nah. I'm good on. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm hang, I'm Henry Hank Aaron. You know you know what my name is? Of course you know my name because you got my name. Bro, Stop playing. I done <laughs> read a uh, uh, motherfucking. What's son? A uh, John Dillinger comic. Oh, this man. I'd have read a John. After he told me I couldn't be all, I'd read a John Dillinger comic, and I'd be like, I'm robbing banks. I'm getting busy now, see? You gonna make me go bad. Son, his, his, that and average for his career. His career was 50, 1955 to 1975, right? His bat and average was 305. <laughs> For 20 years. Yo, if y'all yeah, go look into other baseball players, like you'd be like, Oh, I always heard Mark McGuire name. His batting average for his career is 256. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sammy Sosa, 40 is something. It's that's below the Mendoza line. That's not a good batting average at all. And you might be like, It, it is though. It's, it's not. not. It's not at all. It's not. 3,771 hits, 755 home runs, 2,297 RBI. Not even to mention his own. He played in the Negro Leagues as well. 19, he did? From 1952. Yeah, because he, he got into baseball when he was 15 years old. I know. So he couldn't go into the MLB, so he went and tried out, and he, he got with the um Indianapolis Colonels. I'm not joining no team called the Clowns. <laughs> These clowns coming on the court, man. On the field. Fuck out of here. But yeah, man. Shout out to the legend. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you got to see the game evolve to where it's at right now. And you helped that happen. You know what I mean? So, Facts. Facts. So, and his birthday coming up. So February 5th. Rest up to the legend, man. Yeah, man. Rest up. Who's on that? Broke that shit, son. They said he broke the when he hit that seven. What was it, seven sixteen? Mm -hmm. When he hit seven sixteen, and everybody was coming on the field, and he was running the bases. His mom's one that ran on the field and hugged him, right? And she said, "I wanted to hold him tight because if anybody was gonna take him out, they would have had to take me out too." Yeah, cause 
I felt just because of that racial tension at that time. Like Roger, you know Roger that shit, it always makes me cringe when he's round the second and that white boy runs up on him <laughs> and slaps his arm. Like that is so. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, mm-hmm. how does that? How, how is that allowed? Mm-hmm. Like, how 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 does he get there? Mm-hmm. Where was his teammates? Where was? I don't, where's the security? Yeah. Shit like that from it's that time. no security and no barricades. I mean, like yeah, that, it's so. different time. I mean, you gotta have security, bro. I'm not hearing that. I mean, probably, but not as not high where, intense not, as... No, not where they have them now. Yeah, yeah, probably like at four certain sections you will have security and then most of the field is just open, you know what I mean? Niggas probably, they probably was blocking like the bullpen, that the dugouts, and that's it. You could come in from right field and center field, jump that wall. For him to be, <laughs> for him to be, remain calm in that situation. I always applaud people when they do mean. shit that I couldn't be able to do because you're not sending me death threats for years. It wasn't just when on the way to breaking the record. They gotta do a movie on Hank, man. For years he was receiving these death threats, bro. And now I broke it, and he—I don't even think he's seen him. But then you feel him on him, bro. I done fucked out. I done thought niggas was coming to kill. Him. I done thought this was it. Yeah, but that's how his balls felt, and that's why she held him like that. Yeah, but out. I'm talking about but he was, him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's going through his head. I mean, okay, like, even if it is, you ain't react to it. But like Jackie had to, you got to play that. You know what I mean? Where it's I'm like, not the niggas, bro. That's, nah, what I'm that's what I'm saying. I, I commend them for that right <laughs> there. Yeah, if we didn't have those type of strong people, we wouldn't be where we are. So sometimes in that person, it's take like, the book. yeah. It's, the first, it's like they said, the first Indian over there. And that's how confident and strong they are about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. But then this is bullshit, too, because then Barry Bonds got that threats for breaking rules. Whatever, man. But then that's a different situation because of the alleged... How many Indians got to go over the hill, bro? God damn. <laughs> niggas ain't never able to come back over the hill and be like, yo, it's okay. Niggas getting clipped. And niggas like, all right, maybe we can go. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, rest in peace, man. Legends never die, you heard? Never. Get that from Sandlot, you know what I mean? Legends never die. And who told him that? They will. They will. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Um... Where we go? We say uh, Dave Chappelle got the COVID, right? Mm-hmm. We already spoke on that. Um, Jay Z is launching an uh, investment team on cannabis. Yeah, did you see it? Mm-hmm. What's it called? The monogram? Yeah. So you think Ho was the one Lanny monogram is loose? Yes. Huh? You heard what the fuck I said? Nah, I got caught up. You looking up weed and shit. I'm like, yeah, the monogram. I just get into that. Nigga said, huh? Um, yeah, do you think Jay is the reason Monica yeah, is like my Oh, you just don't like know my shit. Love is blind. That shit is all right. And then that take over. Yeah, my. Yo, my mom used to have that record on repeat in the crib. What you man. think is love is truly not. You <laughs> have to elevate and find. <laughs> she wanted to kill my nigga. <laughs> yeah. That song let me know. Nah, they wasn't playing. Females was not yeah. playing. Like, I listen, still play with them, though. You push them to a limit, man. Yeah, that's a limit. You get crazy. That's a limit. <laughs> <Gas>. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I just had a visual. No, Shit uh, is scary, man. Um, yeah, that Jay- like button, y'all. Jay-Z's new monogram cannabis unboxed and reviewed. So what's your question it? about it? Yeah. I asked, do you think Hove is the reason monograms was popping up everywhere like you talked about on the show a few weeks ago? Not monograms, monolips, nigga. Oh. Monogram is a different thing. Wait, monogram? That's what his shit is called, right? Yeah, monolips, right? Excuse me. Blonde moment. What does that mean? Monogram? Yeah. Monogram uh, definition. Overlapping H. or combining two or more letters or other. Oh, he on. 
He on some Mason shit. Is a motif made by overlapping or combining two or more letters or other graphemes to form one symbol. Yeah, like like the at sign. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, like that. But why is this we call? Okay. Oh, I get it. Combining. Okay, so it's like whatever strain this is. It's combined with some of folks. Okay. We'll see what happens. Number 96, number 70. I heard it's right, too. Come in black containers. Product range from $40 to $70. The brand has four strains with three different levels of THC, depending on how high the user wants to be. Let's try and get high. Try and get high, old. The cannabis brand monogram created by Jay-Z is now available to purchase. Yeah. Visit the homepage for many for more stories. I sent the picture to Anonymous, you feel me? Uh-huh. Just so he could go get on that. Because he needs that. Just like what I did with the marathon. So go get that marathon. <coughs> so I need that. So hopefully he had that in the next couple of weeks. The Grammy Award winning rapper has smoked been that with, shit on every episode, you heard? Has been with the brand since the, since two thousand nine as their chief C V O. Chief Visionary Officer. Monogram is part of a bigger deal between Rock Nation and Special Purpose of Accusation Company, SPAC. Which acquired Calibia and Left Coast Ventures to form the partner company X. The products are finally here. Pre rolls. I don't want no pre rolls. And a $50 hand roll made with a gun. Nope. Okay. See what's up? Keep an eye on this, you heard ho? Nah, but then you got the ones that come like this with the containers, the bud. The two gram on the gram flower retails for forty dollars and it's rum and small batches to maintain and quality. Each flower is hand selected and has finished by monogram experts. See what the heck though? I ain't gonna lie. I hope. I hope you just fucking with it because you got your name on it, but when don't, don't we? Up with it. I mean, I'm trying to, you know. When don't we fuck with it? When the stuff I was going. I mean, that the whole uh, Desiree Perez, that should be making me kind of like, ugh. <laughs> it, make, it makes me it makes me be like, I don't know. Cringe, right? Yeah, bro, because I don't fuck with the nigga that I knew my whole life because of a situation. <clears throat> Man. You know, these are morals that I live by, so it's like, it's like, bro, it's like what we talking about. What type, what type of coming us one day trying to do a deal? I can't sit in a room with that bitch. Nah. Nah, I can't. It's it's weird. You 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 put someone in jail. You you all why. And like this shit that you can't take away. Well, I don't give a fuck who you're family is, where your friends are. If you do shit like that, I'm just totally against it, bro. I'm not with putting people in jail. I'm not with that because of your own wrongs. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in the street and you feel like the niggas on your block is, is, is the, the traffic, the, the crackheads or whatever is not safe for you mm-hmm. and your kids, if you make a conscious decision and risk to get those people locked up, I'm not, I don't feel no type of but when you when you follow a certain code and you playing in the middle of the streets, you can't, bro. You can't, son. That shit is just it's weird to me when you've been when you've been out there, you've been in drug spots, you've been around the killers, the not you've been there. Whether you like to say it, I'm not with the nigga, you was there. That was your life. Not not because you wanted it to, because what your block was. That was your life. So you know it. And even if that happened, I'm not snitching. Not telling, not, no, I'm not telling nothing. I gotta go back over there. What the fuck? Yep. Huh? Tripping. <laughs> this is tripping. So I, I just, that shit is embedded in me. Not like, I judge people off what you show me. 
your mm-hmm. character. I don't judge you off of what you, what, what what your likes are, what your sexual preference are. I don't judge you off that. Mm-hmm. I judge you off your character and things. If you could do something to somebody, one person, you do that shit to me. Yeah, you do that shit to anybody. Especially you if you're showing it to showing it to me to somebody closer than me that's closer to you than me. You know what I'm saying? So, so that shit always like it makes me weird, bro. It makes me weird. So the whole title shit is it's this hole that keeps me like there, but is it a bigger agenda to it? You know what I mean? That's sometimes I don't, I don't know. I think when you when I try to attach myself to it personally, it's like yo, we working with title, then it's like oh, you know what I mean? Like uh, some niggas in the hood gonna be like yo. Now is it like niggas working? Talk, with, right. What's up, man? You talk. Right. Right. You talk. Gotta like, push it a little more. Yeah. You talk to Desiree. Correct. She sat down. So I'm be like, I already know where it's going. <clears throat> so it's like. <laughs> I'm good. Yep. But since we are we on music, we just gonna stick to um what was the hot noon. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was long it was a long way, I I felt like it was a good night. You gotta push it hard now. Yeah, there we go. Excuse the interruption. Yeah. I'm good. Nah, cause I got that new thing up there. Oh. But um Yeah yeah. Let's recap this verses. Mm. Let's get to it. This was a, I mean, some, a part of the day I was looking forward to. You watched it? In full? Do you fools listen to music or do I just skim through it? You watch. I skim through it. I don't know. Because the, the audio, I don't, it reminds me of when it started. So I'm like, oh, God, I'm like it, uh, oh, well, that song played, oh, okay. Because I missed it live because I missed it. Yeah, talk to her. Girl, man. Yo, what's up? <coughs> I ain't gotta say no names. I don't talk to you. You think she time. did that on purpose? Yo, what's up with you? She said, niggas, y'all had me waiting almost a month. I feel you. She, <laughs> she had me waiting, but you look bad, man. Yeah, you look it's bad. It's a battle. That's a bad look to come out. It's a bad How, 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 how I tell you how I view these bad? Because I'm a bad, bad nigga. You gotta take everything I'm into consideration. Bitch. The person that. Their style, like their swagger during the battle, how they all of that, the, all of that goes into it for me. It's not just what songs are played. I'm not telling anybody else how to view this or how to judge this. But when it's a battle involved, I look at it a certain type of way because mm-hmm. I'm just that's just how it is for me, right? So off the rip, both of them was waiting. But when Shanti Shant- pulled up, started playing new tracks, I said, "Oh shit!" Yeah, like the she way did. I. The way I looked at it, she's shitting already. And she played some track. old shit that she, like, she was like, I'm not going to throw in the battle. She laughed because she entertaining the people. Got the Doritos problem. I ain't going to hold you. Me waiting for it to start. I fell asleep. I got to work, bro. That was on Thursday? Yeah. I got to work. Yeah. I'm already trying to stay up to watch the Nick game. That shit, I fell asleep. She came on at ten o'clock. I fell asleep, so I, I had to. I had to watch it on the rewatch on yeah. the YouTube shit, and that's what had me tell you what had me skimming through it because it's, it's already like. And then now you're not getting the feeling of every song, and you just picking the songs. Now you're like, all right, this one, one, this one, one. Me, fuck me. Oh, I I'm, hate this verses. So before we get into it. This is one of my worst verses. I don't care how good it went. Yeah. It went. It because, was good too because uh, of the music. Nah, nah. Don't yeah. stop me. Don't stop yeah. me. Because you know I got to keep it real. Niggas don't be wanting to keep this shit 100, bro. I hate it. This shit was supposed to happen over a month ago. Over a month ago. The family caught COVID. Friends of the family, Shanti family, and cool. I ain't, whatever. Yeah. I ain't, everything else was just entertainment. But if y'all caught COVID, Happy I made it, got over it, unlike other people. You know what I'm saying? So, prayers to y'all for that, right? Then it got another fucking versus happened. I watched E40 and Too Short. Which kind of killed the moment. Killed them, because what was before this? What was before that? GZ and Gucci. Momentum was high. So, then you didn't bring it down. You anticipated this, so you was like, yeah. Now, damn it. It's like, when is she going down? They rescheduled it for the ninth. I remember that because my birthday was the 7th and I was off that whole weekend. I'm like, I am watching the verses this weekend. What happened? 
And it did. Well, they, they said due to COVID and all this extra shit. Because I believe, I believe they And being they want them to be in the same room. They were still trying to get the same room shit. So now it got pushed back to the 20th. Twi- the 18th? No, the 21st. 21st? Damn, it wasn't. It wasn't. Remember I kept saying this tonight? It's a month. We recorded that day. Yeah, I was like, all right, cool, it's tonight. I'm going to watch I'm going to watch it. I really didn't want to watch it. Mm-hmm. But I was like, fuck it, I'm up. Then it was taking my long. I'm like, if the Nick game start before this shit start, I'm turning it, it off. Shit started at 9.45. I was sleeping. Nick game started at 10 o'clock. Yeah. I was sleep by like 9.30, 9.35. Cause I wasn't doing nothing, but waiting for them. And it was still a good battle though, in my it eyes. It was trash, just cause of the music. It me. was, but I understand what you're saying. I'm not and gonna... then the audio problems and. So let's just go. Uh, one of my worst ones. The potential was there, but it dropped the fucking ball multiple times. It dropped <laughs> the ball when it was first booked. It dropped the ball when it got rebooked, and it dropped the ball when it when it happened. All right. That's straight up. So we got the the clip is up. It's titled uh, Ashanti versus Keisha Cole. That was our first, first, first when it first happened. That was our first. Look at our energy there. Yeah, we was hyped. We was excited about it, and we we both. Well, you picked Keisha Cole. Washington. Yes, I did. I said eleven nine, either way. Yes, you did. And it went for me. It went eleven nine, either way. It did. But I got Shanti winning because of certain factors, like you said. I had Keisha Cole because I felt like some of the tracks they gave Ashanti was what I was saying. Was like, I right, let's go through. Played the hook eight times. You ready? Round one. Ashanti. Keisha Cole came in mad late. She walked in. She said, yo, 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 drop the song. <laughs> no, no pleasures, no whatever. I felt like that Ashanti was... Ashanti was like, oh, you look pretty I felt pretty like that was like, rushed. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm like, yeah. just play, play my first song. I changed my mind. I hate that song. I changed my mind. Against Happy. Happy. Happy took that round one. You're not going to go by all the names because I don't know all the names of Ashanti songs. So when we get to some, the, cause so it, when we get to that, because like it's like we said, it died out. Bring the song up and listen to it. You ready? Just a little bit of it. You ready? Round two. I should have cheated. The way that I love you. I should have cheated. I'm going with the way that I love you. Two way. Really? I don't have to. They're playing in my head. Okay. I should have cheated. I should have laughed. I should have cheated. I mean, I love both the songs. Yeah. And I tried to stay down for you. I know the song, but you're making it hard. What? Oh, you're You got it 1-1. I got it 2-0. Even at the end, she hit the... Well, damn. Yeah. Well, damn. And that goes into the factors as well. Well, damn. Round three, Keisha Cole. Enough of love. Enough of no love, featuring Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Don't leave me alone, Shanti. I'm giving that to Keisha. Cole. Keisha Cole, three one. Two one. Wait, that's round three. Two one. You got a two one. I got a two one. You both got a two one. I got a Shanti. You got Keisha. Cole. Round four. Should have let you go. Featuring Rock with you. What you going with? Oh, baby. Going That's with Rock with you? you? Mm-hmm. Wait, what's Rock with you? Oh, baby. That's oh, all baby? baby? Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the Michael Jackson sample. That's why you're thinking of Rock with you. It's the sample. <laughs> it's the sample? Yeah. Versus what? Uh, Should have let you go. That's on with you. That's a featuring Amina. I want to rock with you. Three one, Ashanti. That might be Keisha, bro. Hang it up. Mm-hmm. Which one you said? Enough of no love. Featuring no. Yeah. Should have let you go. 
Should have let you. What go. was enough for no love? What was that for? That was round three. We both picked that one. Should have let you. Feature go. Feature Amina. Feature Amina. Which one was this? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Versus what? Rock with you. I gave that to Shanti. Mm -hmm. That's tough though. That's a good round. That's they tough. all was good rounds. That's, <laughs> That's why it was eleven nine. So you got Amina three, who? Two. Amina Peter Guns Amina. That was the credit. <laughs> you get. <laughs> mm, nah, I might get this to Keisha, bro. Nah, three, this Keisha. Two. This Keisha, bro. Nah, she was smoking shit, bro. <laughs> she was smoking right shit. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You got it 3-1. Yeah, I got Keisha on should have let you go. I got it 2-2. Two, two. Round five. My woman was singing these. My girls was singing this shit. Bro. Round five. Keisha Cole. I remember. That wasn't shit. I remember. I remember. Southside. Ashanti and Lloyd. I remember versus Southside. Mm -hmm. Bro, we not doing that. I'm going with Southside. This nigga don't remember nothing of Ashanti. <laughs> well, I don't remember Southside with Lloyd. I, I'm not asking you. That. That's the so video you remember the black car and shit. I remember. I don't remember. We didn't know nothing, didn't you? So dear and lonely. Bro, it's Keisha. I'm going with Southside. You got it four two. I got it four three. So wow. I got it four wow. two. No, we both got it four two, but we got it either way. What year is this? Now you got round six. I really think y'all bugging out, man. Round six, Keisha Cole last night versus Ain't It Funny. That's a W. I told you that's a W. Ain't even counting. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's Keisha, bro. I got it seven two, bro. Huh? That's seven two. Wait, six it's round six. It's three three. So it's five two. I got it five. I had it four. You just seven two. You got it five one. Yeah. We five, going into round seven. Yeah, I got it five one. I got it four. I got it three three. Respectfully. Keisha Cole, this is when they both went into their Pac shit. Play your Keisha. cards right. Keisha. And Pac's life. I'm going with Keisha. It's 4 3. You got a 6 1. Sound about right, bro. That's sound about right, bro. Keisha Cole, love. <laughs> Versus Rain on Me. What you got? Like the rain on me, my man. Oh, oh, that video used to give you chills, don't lie, nigga. You used to be in the crib after all your dirty deeds and be like, man. Did a lot of dirty deeds. <laughs> look, look. Like, man, bro, <laughs> and that was video was dark. Bro, I'm going around. First of all, Shanti is my teenage years, and Keisha is like, my teenage, but yeah, it was bad. That's Creek Kid. Love. Tyrese in the video? Winter joint? See, my thing is this. When it comes to R&B, I really like those um, in a sense, ballads. Those. Yeah. Those. Uh, These both are ballads, though. Not, not really. So you saying the rain on me is a little more poppy? A little more poppy. Sure. It ain't the typical um, R&B shit. It ain't that that Keisha Phil. It ain't that. So you gonna it love ain't it? That, it ain't that um, Tony Braxton. It ain't that. It ain't that. You know what I'm saying? It don't give me that feel. That Brandy feel. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like she in her room writing that shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of like in the studio by the beat. I mean, I'm going with. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna come back myself. I'm going with love in this one. Yeah. Right? I got love. For me, it's gonna be 4 4. It's 4 4, this round 8. You still, you got a 7 1. Yeah, but see, this is the thing. We're just picking the tracks. I don't you know. You just how... picking the tracks. Just picking I knew the tracks. I knew the fit. Right, right. I was there. I was I'm outside. Just, I'm just saying. You were sleeping. You was inside. Yeah, that night, going you going was inside. On. You were sleeping. I was outside. outside. I was outside and went inside. And <laughs> you know went out. Yeah, that's what happened to you. We always, we always used to stay on outside. the block until the last outside. nigga was outside. Yeah. Like, nah. Yeah. FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never the last nigga no more. <laughs> so, but, I'm going to go with love on that one. I got love. So, you got it 7-1, I got it 4-4. Four, four. Round 9. Come on, Sean. Trust and believe. Again, it's down for you. I'm going to be down for you. Do you trust me? Love me? Would you put it on me? I I'm going with down for you. Trust and believe is hard, too, though. If you need to pull that song up yourself, you know, pull that up. <coughs> Wait. Charlie Baltimore, Charlie Baltimore. Yes, that's what I'm saying. What? Who you like, that shit was heat. Yeah. That shit was heat. That shit wasn't heat to you? Not to me. Okay. I don't, I mean, I can't, we, can, we can't go against how we feeling with the. I, and I mean, and now the and then. Mm -hmm. That wasn't it. So yeah, I got Keisha. I got Keisha. You got Keisha A1, I got Ashanti Power 4. Round 10, Keisha Cole, you changed. This is Ashanti, run away. You changed? The um, Jaheim shit? You changed, you changed. That shit? Mm -hmm. See, these are. See, yeah, I noticed that he looking up the Keisha Cole song, but he not looking up the Shanti song. I'm going with Runaway. You went too? Huh? You went to who? I'm going with Runaway. Yeah, Shanti. The Shanti? Yeah. I know Shanti songs, though. My cousin is a Shanti. Stop <laughs> acting crazy, bro. I said I don't know the names of all her tracks, because all of them are not. I know she don't have 20 of them things. Who though? He's we, we showing you right now, bro. We at 12. We at 10 right now. We at 10. It's 6-4. You already. You got it. You already. Now one. All right, so you got that. What what number we at? Six four. I got it. It's no, we at ten. We at ten, and she already played the track. No, Keisha Cole already played all her tracks. Ashanti no, no, didn't no, even no. start playing the tracks. I didn't even get to my question yet. She already played the track with Charlie Baltimore and Ja Rule. Yeah. How many of those she got? A lot. Twenty. What we talking she got about? A lot. She got exactly. A lot of so tracks. she threw one out there. She got a lot of feature tracks. She bro. threw one out there and it won. She has a lot of feature tracks. That's all I'm saying. I ain't talking about what's winning or not. I'm just saying she has a lot of feature That's tracks. That's round nine. We ain't round ten. Okay, so before you That's get halfway through, you... That... Run away not a feature track. It has Ja Rule and Charlie Baltimore on it. Run away? One of them tracks has Ja Rule on it. You talk, you talk about down for you. At ten. That's at nine. At yeah, nine. Ten. So like I'm saying... Before you halfway through the shit, you already playing tracks with Ja Rule and Charlie Baltimore. You ain't even get the 10 of your own shit yet. That's what I'm saying. She has a lot of feature That's tracks. That's only her second feature track in the first 10, bro. That's my exact point. And it's 6-4, Ashanti. That's, you got it 9-1. I don't, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. She can't get the 10. Without a feature, and she didn't do it there, so don't tell me she can't. Okay, I don't know what's your. Point so though. my point to you was, I know Ashanti mm -hmm. herself doesn't have twenty of them things. Okay. No. So that's what I was saying, and you was you changed you you said something else. So I said, I know she doesn't have twenty of them things. So probably by the end. A lot of them songs, unless they're all the features, I mean, let's I'm not going to know. Oh, don't tell me they're all the features. I mean, let's keep going. Bro. Go ahead. You wasn't, he wasn't outside, oh, y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> Round 10, you, who you at? You changed against Runaway. I got you changed, bro. Hey, that's 9 You got it 9-1. I got it 6-4. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely over. That's the last round. Round 11. Heaven sent. 
versus baby. Oh shit. Oh baby. But baby, see what happened baby, 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 right? I say baby you. did win. That I picked baby. But you know why? Peep this. She went like this. Keisha Cole thought she was running the battle, bro. She wasn't though. When she came in and said, yo, play that track. Ashanti was like, yeah, you going first because you got to go first. Yeah, I've seen that part. That's and then at one. this point, she goes, Keisha Cole goes, all right, we're going to take a break, but I won't just go off. I'm a, we're going to go out on this track. That's her words. She goes, we're going to go out on this track. So she plays Heaven Sent. She was just going to, that's a throwaway to go into halftime. And as soon as it's all finished, Ashanti was like, play that shit. Play that shit. We're not going into no break because she came in late. We're going to a break after this. So then that that was the point of that one. It didn't come in right after the break. I'm giving that to baby. It wasn't I don't think Keisha Cole meant to play that in her um twenty. Okay. So she played Heaven Sent. Did you tell me? Heaven Sent, yeah. And she played Baby? Yeah. And we going with Heaven Sent. And y'all yeah, picked baby because she said that shit twenty eight times and no don't other. Don't put y'all don't put them in there. You say you picked. I them. picked it because I like I like the song. That's a horrible fucking song. How? Go back and listen to the song, like just the song. Bro, how many times she said baby in the song? I'm asking you. I'm just asking you the question because you just told me to go back There's and listen. There's three verses on the song should, though. <laughs> There's three verses on the song that she sings. She's not just saying baby. I think heaven sent is just. She's not the same. I think she's heaven sent is one verse in three. Yeah, you just tell me she's not the same baby through the whole song. She's saying baby on the hook. She got three verses on that song where she's singing and not just saying baby. But heaven sent is heaven sent three times in a long verse. You want to put money on that? No. No. Put money on that. Cause I don't, I don't be understanding like what, what did she play a different baby track? I made fun of my cousin because of this shit. Cause she played it over and over. <laughs> okay. She had the same shit. Oh, 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 oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. So that's the verse. That's the, that's the three verses. Bro, on she didn't have no verses on it. I heard three. She verses. had hooks and bridges. Okay. She had hooks. In bridges. A bridge is not a verse. Because if she had a verse, you tell me what she was saying. She was talking about love. Nigga what did she say? Verse. What's the ball from that? I ain't going to speak. See, that's what I'm saying. It's on me. You yeah, can't sing that from seen. that. What size baby? I don't remember it right now. Wow. Bro. She lost that round to me. Ever since. I got it seven four. You got it. Right. It that doesn't even matter. Right? <clears throat> I guess I guess I had to see it. Only you against brand new. This, with, this is Ashanti going first now, in round twelve. I might have only you. Only you versus brand new. I like only you. Um, I like only you. I'm gonna go with only you. I'm not remembering brand new in my head right now. Right? I like only you. That shit was fire. Eight four. You got it. 10-2. Round 13. They go to clean up. What's Love featuring Trust featuring Monica. Trust featuring Monica. Yeah, What's Love, bro. But this is what I'm talking about. Uh, bro, What's Love. Now, can we point this out? What? We just picked What's Love, right? Uh-huh. She got a hook on it. Yeah. She got a verse on it? Yeah. She has a verse on What's Love? What's that? The bridge? She has a, a verse on What's Love? On Fat Joe's song? Yeah. When I'm Get the fuck out of here. I'm on the top of you. I want the Fat Joe back on No, that's love. a bridge. What? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Niggas be listening to music and don't even know in the stanzas of it. And I'm not, that's no offense nah, to you. That's not, that's not but, towards me. I know what you're saying, though. But that's the truth. Niggas don't know the difference between a hook, a bridge, a verse. Yeah, the bridge goes into the hook, and the verse is the verse with, so between the that. So the bridge is usually even at the end of the song, though. 
Yeah, where you want to. You can put the bridge you, wherever you want. Bridge is the catchy part where people besides the hook could be like, all right, this is the part where I can sing along to. You know what I'm saying? So but, that was a Fat Joe song she played. And what did she play? Just the hook? She played that part. And she played the hook? Yeah. And looped it? No, I think so she, she played, played it once. A bit of the Ja Rule shit. Yeah. Ja Rule not on it. That's featuring Ja Rule in the show. Ja Rule's on it. What? Oh, in the Love? beginning. It's Fat Joe and Ashanti. You know what? Got to do with it. Got to do with it, babe. What's love? Yeah, that's his point. It's about trust, babe. What's love? Got to do with it. Got to do with it, babe. That's Ja Rule shit. So you tell me in the verses, Ja Rule should play What's Love? Because he's saying, Got to do with it. Got to do with it, babe. No. So why are we giving points to her for playing a fucking song? Because she's on the hook. Mm-hmm. But fuck it, right? Hey, give it to her. Ten. And that's four. where I will say Keisha fucked up because she should have. Got it ten three. I got it. She should have played five. a song. I gave that to Trust though. People did. Billboard did. People they I mean, did not write to her and made. Maybe it is because of how the night is already going. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I say I watch battles in a different way. Like you said, I say, oh, you're not going. But I've seen all that shit, so maybe that's how people are watching it in the perception of the app, which is cool. But everybody saying, but everybody was given the first 10 to, like, Keisha was on top. But what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. she should have played any other track that is that got any type of radio play right there. Right there, because that's an easy, because she's a battle. But she played most of her radio shit today. And I better not hear another song that I, I, I know of her. I'm telling you that right now. And I can think of a song that I didn't hear. I mean, I can think of a feature I didn't hear. I mean, I'm not going to hold you. You might hear it. But, <laughs> but it wins that round. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I got an 8 5. You, you got a 10 you lost three, right? this round. I got an eight five. You got a ten three. That's thirteen, right? Yeah. So, four round fourteen is into you. Those numbers still down there. Yes, it is. The original version. And then you got I've changed. Oh, you just go. Jaheen. Oh, that's the I've changed shit. That's the shit. That's the one you was thinking about, right? From the earlier song. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm taking Jaheen there just because I think Ashanti yeah, that just song played was, that just to be petty. That song was fire, bro. That I changed it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jaheen? Come on, bro. Big butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh, but I, I, I'm giving her that round. Because um, Fabulous, I, I'd rather the Tamiya version. How, what was the vibe when she put that on? What was the vibe? You watched it live? Yeah. When she put um, NT1, what was the vibe? When niggas said, I know niggas was in there. Fab was in there. Well, it's coming. It's coming off of what's love. Oh, you talking about comments? Yeah. Fire, fire movies, everything. Ain't yeah. nobody say nothing. Fat. Nobody. I don't. This I ain't see fat. Funny, I ain't see fat in the comments. I seen some Tony people Dog. say that ain't that Tamia's song originally. Like, remember Tamia did the song without fat. It was that song. I'm into you. Yeah, then, I believe Ashanti wrote it. Then no, Ashanti ain't write it. She ain't write that. No. She okay. Fab got it right. And Herb Gotti wanted to put Ashanti on it instead of Tamia. So there's two versions of the songs that's flowing around, but that's Tamia's What's the song. video? Tamia. Tamia. Yeah, Tamia. The, I, Ashanti version is trash. I think Ashanti version is on the album. Ashanti version is trash. I don't like her version. No, I don't. I don't like the version. So I'm giving that. And she to plays that. Yeah. She goes. It. It's eight six. <clears throat> you got it. Um, yeah, that's ball game. Fifteen girls in the movies. That's Ashanti. Yeah. Give it up to me, Sean Paul and Keisha Cole. When you're gonna give yeah, it yeah. up to me? <laughs> she was uh, she was grinding on. Come to my thing. I'll give it up to Keisha. Hey up, hey up. <laughs> well, I was still on shit then. Yeah, that's Keisha shit. What fuck Shanti doing? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Still butterfly. Eight seven. Eight seven. Twelve three, bro. Yeah. 
I had an ass whooping anyway. So. Round 16. Mesmerize. Mm. <laughs> Let it go. Yo. Is it really lesson that you can't do? I told you it was going to happen when that come on. Once you heard me, I don't you care what she play. I told you already. Once you hear Missy go, no, Keisha. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. It's over. I'm going to mess that. <laughs> you're not, you're not, no, no, the fuck you're not. This nigga is saying No, you're not. That's not what you picked. You ain't picked that. Yeah, that's what I picked. Not how? It's 9-7. No. See, how, what are you trying to do? You're only hits. You're nah, fuck out of here, bro. How you going? Round 17. You ready? <laughs> Foolish. I don't even want to play no more. Foolish versus Never. Featuring Eve. Foolish one is that. It's 10 7. I feel the same. Whatever. The way that I love you, you complete me. I don't care. It's over. I love you. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm quitting being over. I'm not thinking no more. You just said some stupid shit, son. I don't care. And then Case Cole just gave up at the last two she played. Yeah, because he started his ball game. Back to the bay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, what you had it? What was your end score? <laughs> you just fucked me up. Yeah, nigga. I had to fuck you up, nigga. Um, I'm listening to the fucking Let It Go, nigga. You bugging. 10 7, I after 17. Oh, mesmerized. Yo, kiss, yo, eyes, ah. 10 7 after 17. <laughs> crazy. I know why you like that. 11 that 7 gave, after 18. That shit gave you sync vibes, didn't it? The video and all that, right? That's that carnival shit. 11 8 after 19. That's that carnival shit, right? You like that shit. 12 8. That, that's that Grease video, right? That's this shit when 50 Cent was like, see, this is not hip hop. This is not <laughs> hip hop. You like that? I told y'all. Yo, we going with, we talking about R&B shit that I like. Nah, bro. The song that I, we not talking about no job That's movie. what you we said, bro. We talking bro. about Sassy versus what you said. Versus you said, you said the video was fire and all that. Why? Wow, they was like popcorn at a fucking fair. Shanti looked good. I had it, um. Fuck out of here. I had it 12 8. You had it 19 1. Mm hmm. Now you had the 17 3. 17 3. That's why I called it. <laughs> like maybe it looked different. I don't watch it. Get him, y'all. You know what I mean? Get who? Get that nigga. He be outside. Get who? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Y'all made the wrong choice. <laughs> How about that? How about y'all a little too young? I don't even know if some of y'all was getting pussy back then to understand some of the shit. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't um, know, Notch. I've been out here. But at the end of it, at the end of it all, it wasn't the best. Son, guy. do you know what it's like to walk in your girl? Not, not, not your bitch. Walk in your girl crib, right? You walk in her room. You go in the hub room because you know this is her mom's crib and shit. Her mom's not home. You go in the hub room. <laughs> and I should have cheated is being played. You done did some fuck shit. Now, you don't know if you done got caught. If you, but that shit is playing. And you walk right into I should have went out to, to the club. But I tried to stay down for you. You like <laughs> you, just, you, you know. gotta sit there and be like you think you got it? See and my thing with her was I see the remote? And my thing with her was the love songs they always quote because I I'm that lover nigga, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, nigga, but I did fuck shit, so a lot of them songs resonated. I had to listen to those. But at the end of it, um, it wasn't the best verses. Mm -mm. Just because of how how much it was anticipated and how long we had to wait and then how it had to go back to whatever that had to go back should look to. bad compared to Shanti side by side. Like, like in that camera, they needed to be in the same room. You know what I mean? Like, I need a Keisha standing, some legs out, something. That's what she was complaining about. She was like, she was like, I couldn't. Oh, she's so sexy. Oh, she's so sexy, bro. And when she talk, when she start to talk, why all women don't sound like her? 
What you mean, her tone? My dad, bro. Is she the one? Even her laugh. That shit is like, oh. Cause she from Long Island. Oh. <laughs> you know, you feel me? That's she just. I just fell in love with her the first time I saw her, her skin tone and everything. And back then, she wasn't even what she is right now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. she had she had Dracula's But style she's she's what? she was not it. She's your age. Oh, she's yeah. not my age. Hold on, how old is she? Bro, she's not. She like my age, bro. You know what I mean? Right. That's still young. Been, that's not that much older than us. I'd have been on her body. I'd have been pulling up to all Apple signs in New York. Right. She's forty. She's still dope. It's don't still dope. Don't get it. I'm gonna marry that, right? Now. Ashanti, oh, listen. First time I meet you, we go on two dates. I'll spend I mean, one knee and give you that ring, right? Yo, she. And she my height. She 5'3. But well, she can't get that for me. She got sovereigns, bro. No, no, no. But she's lazy dog, bro. You can't have kids with that. Fucking baby That smell is crazy. I was like, look she's at gorgeous. her. She's gorgeous. Look I, at never, you. I never could, uh, like, find her attractive, though, because my cousin. You know what I'm saying? They even they don't sound like to you. Somewhat. A little bit, right? I don't know if Christina didn't do that shit on purpose, but she was she, a stand. Yeah, she was a super. She still is. Still is. I'm sorry. Oh good. shit! I hope she don't see this. It's alright. She don't watch our show. Take that time. Me, but um, yeah. So I couldn't really find her attractive because she remind me of my cousin. That's like uh Battle ladies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all it wasn't a good battle, ladies. Don't <laughs> let him lie to you. Y'all dropped the ball. Good, you know what I mean? It wasn't good, neither. It's all right. Nope. Because the music, oh, cool. you heard the songs that was played. The music, man. I understand what you mean, though. The audio is crazy. So, uh, how can you tell me? We just read it and it sounded better than the battle. That's what I believe, though. That's what I mean. That's what I no, said. No, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Fuck is he doing with Keisha trying to play and shit? Is she trying to sing and it's cracking? Like, come on. Come on. No. No. Get this shit the fuck up out of here. Yo, listen, man. That who's better shit don't just, um, it's not just limited to humans, you heard? I've been watching a lot of, um, hero shit, right, cool? Why don't get Parks to do this shit, bro? What is Versus doing? What you mean? Look at it there. Oh, the audio up. The audio up. Well, what if I don't got a sound person? Because Ashanti looked very professional a little bit. And know. both the DJs was trash. That's what I'm saying, man. Getting both your cousin a DJ. Is- Why your cousin DJ? Why she bought out OT Genesis? Because they had beef. They had beef? Yeah. She did some sucker shit. Like what? He had remixed her. Um, oh, yeah, she didn't like it. Love. Love. He did the cripping shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why oh, he yeah, was yeah, saying cripping yeah, and throwing this shit up. Yeah, right, she got his shit taken down and all She that. brought him out. She let him sing it. Well. <laughs> she did? Yeah. He, she he, lost he. that round now. See, that's the shit <laughs> I'm talking about. That's the shit I'm talking about. If I'm watching, I'm going to take points away from shit like that. Nah, that's like having a nigga jump in a battle. And the shanty was there. Bro. Like, did he sing? She this? said, and kids you call you? I know you, I know you're who there, right? You gonna pop out? No, nigga. I'm here, Dolo. Strong Island. <laughs> Alright, so boom. Thank you. So boom, this time I'm gonna call it, right? Because I didn't watch it in, in total. So, of the songs that was played, that's my score. But it sounded like Keisha was looking crazy. Yeah, she didn't have no leverage. And her performance was off. So, that's like a nigga. Having fire bars, but he just he just like rapping it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the nigga like, like K. Sean on you, and he throwing haymakers. And, that, and you thought I'm you was fuck with you him. thought you was gonna catch him off guard? Yeah, yeah. You nah, you you spit some shit, but this nigga was wild. Nigga. He did a backflip with the bar. Oh shit! So it's yeah. almost the it's almost because I seen some shit where she was like, "No, you not," and I was like, "Ooh, yeah, that's a haymaker, bro." That, that was that was round that was round twelve when she really came switching. in and she was like, "I played my song," and, and Ashanti was like, "Nah, you went first and she was like, "No, uh," she was like, "Yeah, you no, did." You I'm going she first. Was like, Play my shit. She's not playing. <laughs> no, you not. <laughs> that's she's New not, York shit at the same time too. Yeah. Shout so. out to both of y'all. That's bird of egg shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not, bitch. You're not. Why you think you're doing that? 
Oh, oh man. Damn. I should have looked at the TV. It's all right. You don't need to watch. Oh, what? I can't even say why. You see, they coming out with, uh, they doing, uh, who you got? Godzilla or King Kong? Oh, damn. Like they don't shit like that, nigga. You should like that, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Ape shit, nigga. Nigga, Kong and Caesar, nigga. Don't call us apes, and then when they out here wilding in movies, I'm supposed to go against it. No, nigga, they representation of black men, right? Ooh, why they doing that? You see, you see that? You see the trickiness between black men against the, the, the no, China. China versus America. Well, I guess no, Kong not African. Not, 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 not wild. Well, see the bullshit. He is African, but they went in down there and snatched him off. Snatched him over all over here to put him on the stage. Yo, Dino's! Snap the shit! What, see what happens when you smoke crazy? Snap! It get crazy, bro, because then you start thinking about shit like that. Because now it's like, we Man, have the coronavirus and the yeah. U.S. versus the China flu. Now they're going to put Godzilla from China to come over here and try to fight. He better win. He better win. <laughs> he better win. He better, better stone cold. this nigga that. up. And when another fuck, because you know some other shit going to pop out, because we already thinking about these two. When some have, other shit pop out, he better wash that nigga like up. You too. say he better have Caesar pop up and, and right. grab. Jump on the show. Word. <laughs> fuck out of here. But yeah, since we talk about shit like that. Right? Apes always win. They nigga. both they both like the light to the universe, right? They both like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? About watch. Son, did you watch Go yeah. Island? Yeah. yeah. Well, so that time? shit bro, too. Bro. But, but I'm what going with Kong. About? I'm going with King Kong. What are we talking about? They talking about Godzilla got lasers and shit like that. It so. don't matter. My son. Hey. <laughs> And jump out the sky on his ass. Pull your eyes out, nigga. If I roll with you, eat them shit. Then Who better? Barry Allen or Peter Parker? The Flash or Spider Man? Who better? Who better to their universe? Who? Who? Uh, who Barry stayed Allen. there? Barry Allen. Barry Allen ran into the Marvel Universe. I was just talking about this shit. Yeah, you know? I was just talking about this shit too. I told Kali that. Uh, I told YG that. I said, yo. I think the Flash is better than Spider-Man. He was the nigga ran mean. into the Marvel Universe. I don't know if y'all heard me say it the first time. That nigga don't give up, bro. First of all, I was at Apocalypse. Go ahead. Say, like he don't give up. I was watching Flash. Sometimes he makes some dumb mistakes. Yeah. Nah, he always makes dumb mistakes. But he is that nigga. Like, I hate when I hate I Man. I hate Iris. You know what I'm saying? But that's just off the neck. That's just off the CW show, but. Not bad. Uh, Flash is that nigga, though. He's that nigga. But Peter Parker is that nigga, too, though. Yeah. I think they comparable, though. Yeah. They very comparable, but, yeah. Uh, let's get into some sports shit, man. We're about to get into it. You just shit. gonna talk about oh, no. Kong? You ain't gonna get into <laughs> what, what HBO Max is doing? We talked about it before. We said we were gonna get back to what it. What else? We yeah. still in the realm? That's See what HBO Max is doing? Yeah. They got Tom and Jerry coming up. Tom and Jerry next month. Judas and the Messiah that was supposed to come out last year. Space Jam 2 coming out. Space Jam 2. You about to see? You watching it? Um, uh, Mortal Kombat. You watching it? I'm watching everything Mortal on that Kombat? show. Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Can't wait. This week, Denzel movie with Jared Leto. Oh, yo. The Simple oh. Things? The Simple Things? I need to watch that. Corny ass Wonder Woman just came off. I need to watch that. That shit was ass. But I good just looking. saw the trailer to that. That shit look hard. It comes out um, in, exactly, today's the 25th, it comes out in four days. Listen, man, if you don't have HBO Max, subscribe. Oh, if you have HBO, all you have to do is download HBO Max and put your cable subscription in, and you have it. All the DC shit, I mean, I was just watching, um, he got game, uh, they got Project X, I ain't watched the Harriet Tubman shit, I watched the Yusuf Hawkins story, which you should watch. About the kid from East New York in the 80s mm -hmm. went out to Ventures and got killed by the Italian shit. Story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why well, they got that shit up there? That shit is heat. Um, as I told you, I watched the meat mill shit up there. I like that. But what they doing, man, it's just, it's just dope. Yeah. Man. I don't think I'm ever going to the movies again. I'm dead ass. Because if I could have it on my phone, they don't have it available on the TVs yet. But you got a Chromecast, you stream that shit right to it, boom. Yeah. Give me my, my surround system, put, it in, put some mics, turn them down, turn them up. Yeah. I'm, I got my own home theater system. I mean, I would like to get back to going to the movies, but 
Not if you're going to give it to me. Nah, I understand what you mean. Not if you're going to give it to me, bro. You watch that through the through the wire shit? I know yeah. yet. I'm about to. The um, black America, Captain America, my son. Um, Fuck you, Canadian. Ben Franklin. Who? Ben Franklin? No, Franklin. The Snowfall. Say No, that's not him. That's not the movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, that movie. They both in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his son is, um... Outside uh, like the wire or like some shit like that. He's like a, uh... Like a robot. robot type shit, yeah. And Franklin is a, um... Shit. A drone pilot. Yeah, I'm about to watch that. Ryan was watching it yesterday. I'm about to watch that. Probably today. Um... Trey Songz just got arrested. You saw that? Really? Swung at the cops on the, at the Kansas City Chiefs game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got arrested for swinging on the boys, so. Yeah, that happens. Hold your head, boy. You saw the baby video? No, I seen Roddy uh, Rebel shit, though. Did you see that? Rerun? That song was fire. Got me woo walking on it. <clears throat> I want to hear him and Quay on the track. Rowdy and Quay. Cause that shit remind me of Reflex. That's true. Wow. If I hear them two niggas on the track, son, I'm gonna want to shoot something. Yo, I ain't even, hold on. Niggas can't stop my feet. I ain't even <laughs> thinking that to this now. That shit is all, bro. I'm putting that in the universe. You heard Quay? For real. Wow. Nah, but that rebound shit is hard. The way the beats change. Mm-hmm. Shit is crazy, yeah, I like it. I like it's it. It's almost right. like um Buck song. Mm-hmm. Why don't we forget the title to that song? What they want? I forget. What they want? But yeah, um Yeah, the baby video is wild crazy. But you gonna have to watch it and then we'll talk about it. Okay, um You wanna get into it? Yeah. Where you want to start? Wherever you want to. All right, we getting into sports, right? We are gonna start with Conor McGregor got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> All right. Pieces. And we'll leave that there. Pieces. <laughs> Left hooks. It's like the Rocky story. Is this like I think Rocky four, or Rocky three? You know, you got the money, you still trying to go out there and fight, but you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. That shit do sound reflex. And then we got Ryan Garcia and Manny Pacquiao coming up. Yeah. Um Is it a lot? I'm not sure. I didn't see it. I saw a poster, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. I hope so. Um but Conor McGregor got knocked the fuck out. Sneaking like, around. It wasn't even like like he was fighting back. I mean he he still he got it. He was doing his thing. Yeah, he just got his. He caught that left that left. Yeah. That shit came. He gonna come. I think he'll come back and fight. But. He swung that shit from the equator. Put that in. But um, yeah, I hope that fight happens soon. I think Belinga's supposed to be fighting soon. Uh, the seventh, mm-hmm. I believe February seventh. Yeah, so looking forward to that. <clears throat> uh, we had the smack event this weekend. Before we get into major sports. Uh, volume seven. It was lackluster. Felt like it could have been better. We had Danny Myers and Austin. Mm-hmm. Um, Danny Myers kicked his ass. I'm gonna say that he kicked his ass. Let me make sure I don't forget nobody. Danny Myers kicked his ass. That was the opening shit. Um, then we had. I believe it was was it twerk? I think it was twerk and Jada Nightwing. This was <coughs> excuse me, New Jersey twerk comeback battle. He had a car. He was in a car accident uh, a few months ago and shit. So he came back. Have to go to split the balls and watch the recaps. Huh? Yeah, uh, Jada Nightwing. I had Jada Nightwing winning that one. Uh, then it was Av and DNA, which was battle of the night to me. DNA is, bro. Is it Mike? Quinks? 
watching this nigga since he was a kid. Remember that shit? This nigga is still doing it, bro. And on, no gumballs. Mm-hmm. No gumballs, bro. I think this is third or second battle going in. Um, yeah, he turned up at him, beating half. It was a good battle, though. Kayshawn and Chilla Jones. This was like, in a sense, like for a battle of the year. Both of mm-hmm. them been wilding last year. And Chilla Jones kind of like kicked his ass, bro. <clears throat> Kayshawn seemed a little off, which is weird. He's never off, but it just didn't work. And Tay Rock and a was the main event. And it should have been the first battle because it was ass. And that's my review. And shout out to Split from Bar, shout out to Fail, shout out to my son G. Um, y'all be seeing them up there soon as we uh, try to implement this battle rap segment into the platform more. So, yeah, shout out to my boy. Yes, so, um, let me get into it, man. What's up? Andy Stafford out of Detroit. Where's he going? I don't know. Where you got him going? Dang. Got to stay on Where he fit for you? Let me think real quick. Um, the Jets. Nope. Um, wait, chill. Give me a second. The Colts. Colts. That's, that's nice. <clears throat> it's perfect. We got all line there. We got a running game. We got defense. Different oh, conference. This is decent. They seem ready to win. To me. They seem ready to win. Yeah. They won, what, 10 games this year? Yeah. They could have won their playoff game. Well, they won more than 10. They were in the playoffs. I think okay. they won another. They won another. Yeah, because Miami won 10. I, think I could see Indianapolis as a good fit for him. Indianapolis. Um, they they looking to trade him. Trade him to Indianapolis. Take their draft pick. You already have, what, probably, what, the seventh draft pick? <clears throat> Eighth? Mm-hmm. You trade for him, you're going to get, what, the 20th, 21st? First round. I'm pretty sure the Colts would be willing to do that. The Colts? They probably got like the 17th pick or something like that. And for Stafford, they have everything ready. They just have they they quarterback just left. And the the coach was saying he wanted Rivers back. So what the fuck are you gonna do now? No, he don't want to put Jacoby Brissett in because he clearly just said he wanted Rivers back <laughs> one more year. Mm-hmm. But what if a team got a better, got a higher pick than them, right? Okay. And they got a better offensive scheme than them. And they was just in the Super Bowl. All right, cool. San Francisco. That's a that's that's actually a great fit. With Shanahan? Are they willing to give up on Jimmy G? They are giving up on Jimmy G. He get hurt too much. That, are you? Uh, is that your opinion of saying that? Or you, I think that's my opinion. I think uh, it's that's your opinion. Uh, but that's, that's your opinion. Have you seen that they they giving up on Jimmy G? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I think they. They just paid that man. Yeah, but I think if. But they just gonna cut him and take on Stafford contract. Trade him for Stafford. And get it. Why is not taking that, bro? Jimmy Garoppolo and that. Seventh pick? I mean, what, what's San Francisco at? The fifth pick? So now they got the fifth, the seventh pick, and Jimmy Garoppolo? Who do you think the draft was? Because I don't think they got no fifth pick. They was trash this year. So was we, even though we was in it. Jags, Dolphins, Falcons, Bengals, Eagles. Oh, they got the seven. Who? The Lions. Who the 49ers at? Panthers, Broncos, Cowboys, Giants. Niners got the 12th. Chargers. Seventh and 12th pick. With Jimmy Garoppolo. Who I said? 
And you got, who you got? Holiday, Jones Jr. You got a little offense over there. The Colts got the 21st pick. Washington has 19. And here, California kid. The Patriots have the 15th. I don't want to go to New England. There's nothing popping over there. Jeffy, you got Jalen Hurts, um, Dallas. I don't know. They're not signing. If they don't sign Dak Prescott, you will go and get Matt Stafford. But I like Indianapolis or San Francisco. You look like the 49ers are going after either Deshaun or Matt Stafford. Either or. I'll take either or in San Francisco. All right, let's go. As I said, 49ers trading for Matt Stafford and moving on for Jimmy Brock. Jimmy Garoppolo. He made out of glass, cool. That ain't my man. I'm just saying, he made out of glass. He get hurt too much. He, he came there. Yeah, we win. We Yes, we win when you're here. We win a lot when you're on the field. But you're not on the field. Matt Stafford and George Kettle. Rock that IU kid and who they who they running back? Monster. Monster. And the other nigga. If he can stay healthy. Yeah, then who's their receivers? I just named them all. Who? D uh Devo. Devo. Uh Damn. Fucking weed, bro. Devo, uh Ayuk, Kadu. That Ayuk can you fix me. Hell yeah. And um, I got somebody else. We got a few. Yeah, I would like to see him on San Francisco to get at least a chance to get in the playoffs and try. Somebody to else went over there late in the season. Emmanuel Sanders? No, he's in. He's on New Orleans. But Debo Samuel is definitely there. Debo Samuel and Ayuk and Kettle, right? And most coming out the back. And McKinnon. We had. They have Monster. And uh, this kid named Jackie Wilson. And, and then don't discard, don't don't disregard the coach. McKinney. They got Mike Shannon. Yeah, I can see them making that trade for. Um, That's gonna be a nice book for him. I want to see him win. He he a hall. He more of a hall of famer than Philip Rivers to me. And it's crazy to say, but I believe. Oh, Matt Stafford. His num I think his numbers is better and gonna be better at the end of the day. You just put him in a winning situation now and he matches. I think that's kind of crazy because I've seen some Philip Rivers numbers where he's like top ten in a lot of passing stats, bro. Check what you say. No, I don't want to now because he's still playing. So I kind of feel like that's a disservice. I'm just saying with Philip Rivers leaving now, he's top ten in about. Five or six passing categories, bro. They gotta count for something. You tell me, just got if a nigga win a Super Bowl, then it's like, ah, he can go with those numbers. But with those numbers, the nigga can't go. Be top ten all time in six passing fucking categories. Top ten in the NFL. In the NFL, bro. History. When there's niggas behind you that are Hall of Famers, that ain't win either. How does that feel? I like cool. They read on men do it. I don't, I can't name niggas that's behind him. I know niggas that's in front of him, like you said, Dan Marino. But if you in the same class as that nigga, then I don't think he's in that class, though. Right, he don't have the same arm. It's not the same type of talent. Not the same type of talent. It's kind of the same number. I don't think so. I don't think he's close if to he top being top 10 and 6, and he, and, and and he top 5, <laughs> he's still there, bro. Like, I mean, he's been he a lot did. of quarterbacks. You can have 300 mil and I can have 60 mil. We're not in the same bracket, though. 
Bro, I got 300 mil and you had 380. Yes, the fuck we are. Not really. Yes, we are. Not me. Yes, we are. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's why I just like. I mean, that's why I said it. Compared to the stimmy check, bro. That's just same niggas that make between this time, this and much, to 75000 Y'all niggas are the same. Mm -hmm. No matter who get more speakers or whatever. Y'all niggas are the same. Yeah. So it's the same shit, bro. I'm just saying, I, I can't discredit the nigga if be top 10 is. That second 10 is, is good. What if you had the niggas like Joe Dosman and shit, bro? And that nigga all the thing for a little. Then what? That's tight. I don't know. Kerry Collins on, in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I don't think so. I hope he's not. I hope not. But if he, he is. is I'm saying this man already got 45,000 passes, y'all. Oh, Matt Yeah. <laughs> I'm not knocking my side. 282 touchdowns. 62 completion leaders. Oh, I think he's a piece. Come on. Excuse me, man. Bro, come on, son. Don't fool me up in there, man. He got 63,000. Don't fool me. Doug Flutie? Hold of Fame? Yeah. I don't know. Hold of Fame. Archie Manning? It's because of their significance. But let's get to it. Let's get to it. Where you want to start at? NFC, AFC? Gotta get out of here. AFC. We start at the AFC? All right, let's go to the AFC then. I'm going to let you go. Why? I went for Buffalo. Oh, so let's go on the other side. I thought they was going by 10. Now you could go. No, let's go on the other side. Let's go on the ASC. Get yeah. your man out of there. Say who? Yeah, let you talk about your man real quick. Tom Brady? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, he just the go. What else is he going to say? 10 Super Bowls? Two or three interceptions for like four drives. <laughs> Told you it was cold out that bitch. Yeah. It wasn't cold in the first half. Oh, it was cold. Two, three touchdowns. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think they went nine and ten for down third downs. I don't know what the Packers defense was doing, and that's the shit I was talking about. They saw the big bad wolf on the field. Niggas ain't scared of that. Niggas scared of that. And Rogers scared of that. He said he wanted. I want the AFC, I want the NFC Championship game at Lambeau Field Yo, at my house. I never had that. Hold on, two dumb things. Hold on, I think I think I could win. I know I could win that. Not against Tom Brady, boy. Think about this, bro. Who are you talking to? Last week he ran a touchdown, right? He ran it in. Aaron Rodgers? When he had the open field. Uh huh. Why he ain't doing a lot of things? He didn't want to get killed. You seen that? He could have yeah. ran it in though. Another yeah. thing. Why the fuck? Are they kicking a field goal with two minutes and nine seconds left in the game? Inside the three yard line? Down eight. I think you want to stop Tom Brady from getting two first down. That's what you tell me. Like I said, Tom Brady was just telling his, he was just telling Tampa Bay, he was like, yo, listen, we're in the playoffs, right? This is how I look at it. Son. You got three road games. Come back home, right? Mm -hmm. Then you could chill for two weeks at your mansion. Yeah, crib. With your kid. Come to practice. You could walk to practice, get on your bicycle, and get ready for the biggest game of your life, and you're going to be so focused for that, mm -hmm. that it's going to be a problem that night. So let's win these three games. And, and it don't matter moves. how we got to win the games, right? God damn it, ain't that... Ain't I mean, we're not making our Super Bowl picks here. The Super Bowl is not in February. You making your Super Bowl pick? Is That's the fuck I am. Why? The, week, the game is not for two weeks. Bro, this nigga's bugged. What you mean? We do... We do shit like now, we already know who's in the Super Bowl. We why know why who you're picking, fuck, but... Why the fuck would... If anybody watches this shit, why would they think that I will have a different pick? 
I said this year. Why are we making our Super Bowl year. picks today? I'm not I saying we're not year. breaking no Super Bowl game. Pick. But That's we got to break the game down. Go ahead. We can break it down. We're not breaking the, the Super Bowl game down. We talk about these two yeah, games. I'm just, I'm just going off what you was just saying, where he was taking niggas in two weeks, riding bikes and shit. I mean, that's on you if you think the Chiefs going to win the Super Bowl. That's on you. That's not on nobody else. That's what you mean. Yeah, riding bikes and chilling in mansions and shit. All right, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, if you took that personal, that's on you. Ahead, I did. I now, did. let's imagine how Patrick Mahomes got his heart beating right now. See, you making me get into it. Now we're going to have to get into it because you trying to be funny. You <laughs> like, oh, no, nah, it's still this. And then trying to get into all this extra shit. No, nigga. No, nigga. See, I'm not going to get into that. We talking about these two games. I did not want to get into that. We getting into that next week, nigga. <laughs> Tom Brady wilded out on the niggas. Yeah, he threw three intos at the end. Yeah, them toes was frozen. Yeah, the, the Packers wild the, the out. The fingertips was frozen by the whole quarter. He was like, this, this, he is. said, he said, this is a little different. <laughs> so, this, this shit frozen? I'm glad I got that lead in the beginning. Them niggas bum the fuck out. Yeah, I don't want to hear nothing about holding. Every every time there was supposed to be a holding call, I saw a football hit a wide receiver chest and wide receiver drop. Bro, them <laughs> niggas bum the fuck. How many points they got on those three tunnels? Oh, uh, no. no. They, they got, nah, they scored a touchdown. They scored a touchdown off one. Mm. And a field goal, so they got 10. 10 out of 21. That ain't going to do it, Chief. No fun to that ain't Not against this guy. Not when you let him score 30. It's not going to work. When they went out there to kick the field goal, I turned to me and I said, this game is over. He said, no, no, no. They got three timeouts and a two-minute one. I said, bro, this game. Yes, that over. didn't make sense. You, not, you're supposed to. You, you inside the three. You go for the fourth and go. If you score, you score great. You can go for the two point conversion. If not, you down. You down two. But if you miss that, they inside yeah, the three. three. three no, you still four. down five. If you miss the fourth and go. All right, all right. And now, Tom Brady is inside the three, and you put pressure on him. And you know when there's pressure on him, he he got loose feet. And he's still trying to score before that two minute warning. So. Or if they run the ball, you you gotta put your hand in the grass and stop. The That's ball. why it didn't make no sense to me. You got nine seconds. You're now eight with two minutes and nine seconds to go against Tom Brady. You banking on him throwing another interception on that, he threw three. Nah, bro. This nigga know what time it is. He know all he need to do is get one or two first downs. Why that? Because the first play was a pass, and that shit took him to the two-minute one. Next play, you, 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 crossed, you went off sides and let them get so the they first down. The so now, when I see that, I said, oh. So they won't have to spend the time off, but that's wasting the two minute warning that you was playing yeah, for. Because he got too many check down options and too much rushing options for you to do that. You try to use a two minute warning for second down, and then stop him on second down, timeout, then be third down. You stop him again, timeout, and be fourth down. You have one timeout and you kick it back. That's what you try to do against the goat. Who the fuck is they coach? Um. A dickhead. That's who it is. It doesn't matter his name. It's a, it's 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 a dickhead. That's his name. What's his name? A dickhead. Fucked up. Can't do that again. Me? Me? Guess what? Fire. I'm fire. I fire niggas, bro. When I'm worth billions of dollars, this is your check it out. Fire. Don't give a fuck what you give. Get fired. They trade that guy. No, no, no. He's fired. He's fired for sending the field goal team out there when we down eight points in a championship game. What dumb. type of preseason that was, shit was that? That's one of the dumbest moves I've ever seen. Oh, no, it's not. The dumb, no, no, no. I'm not one, saying one, one of. of not the dumbest one. Of. That's one, one of. of the I, I call it. That's probably like it. top seven right like there. I just, I just thought that was like waving a white flag. Yeah, that was like, we don't know what's going to happen from here. Like, really? You, you make what's going to happen. But I think Aaron Rodgers is going to ask them to trade him, too. Like a defense elite. What the fuck? I think he's going to be like, I'm good. I'm out of here. Y'all got the young man. Y'all let him come in and play. Whoever that nigga is. Send Jordan Love. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so it was it was an okay game. I enjoyed it. Yeah, pack, the Packers ain't live up to what they were supposed, what supposed to do. You home going against a warm blooded team. You're supposed to take advantage of that, but hey, you know? none of them ever been in this position. But Tom Brady. Hey, Rob, that's it. And his play was almost the biggest play that twenty. It was had. the biggest play. That was on that drive, bro. The goat is going to his tenth Super Bowl. Yeah. Understand what we're watching? Legendary shit right here, man. The big bad. You know what I'm saying? And the bomb bomb. Now let's get to the AFC. Mm -hmm. Shit got crazy over here real fast. Yeah, man. I ain't think. I picked Buffalo. Big result. Watching the game after the first two possessions and they was up 9-0. I said Kansas City about to win this game. They missed the extra point. They missed the extra point and they missed the extra touchdown when they were supposed to score. Like after that other shit that uh, Harmon did. The uh, fumble? Yeah, they were supposed to score. Oh, what happened? And then that was the up. game right there. Yeah, and then it turned up. This thing started well. And Apache went home. It's crazy. Baby go. Hey. Baby go. A little bad. I, I just. Go ahead. Talk, talk about shit. Talk about shit? Talk about the game. Read the game. <laughs> I like. I like. Sometimes I like the glow. But I don't, but with, with sports I do, because I love when I'm fucking right. When it comes to sports, especially when it's pretense. You know, I, we had the, well, I had the uh, gratitude and opportunity to have this platform before his, see, his career even started to be gloating about him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, um, in his third full season, He's now played in three championship games. Lost one to Brady. He's won a two bowl and he's back in his second one. Um, last night's game was just, I think it was like a realization for me, like of what I'm watching. Because of what I kept saying, I was like, yo, I, I just don't want to play Buffalo, bro. I don't want to play Buffalo. They just look yeah, like that. They just play scared, though. Yeah. They just look like that hot team. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That team coming into the playoffs, the hottest team. And, and you know what I'm saying? You, know, you, you can't have no hiccups. So watching the beginning of it, the phone was and I'm like, oh, here we go. If this shit was in Buffalo, it would be crazy right now. Yeah. But um, I look and I'm like, the niggas ain't seen rattles so they're down nine points. They played down the whole playoffs last year and came back. But ain't no team showing them no pressure, bro. That's my thing. Like, I think niggas, I think it's almost the same. I think, I don't know why he's getting it right now, but he getting that same, it's almost that same type of presence. Like, he come on the field and the other team is scared. And he's like, there's nothing we could do to beat him. They don't so know what they just, expect. They don't know. Yeah, it's like, should we tackle him or not? I tackle the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, or should is he gonna run or is? I mean, I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's easier to say, bro. I mean, I guess, but Maybe it's easier sometimes to you gotta have a team that's just like when the Giants that's gonna go after Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing it to different defenses, bro. Of course he is. It's not like he's playing the same niggas. Buffalo is a great defense. The way they just did, did the Lamar Jackson a week before it. I mean, yeah, they're a good defense, but they not tackling him. Look at this shit. It almost seems like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm hating because I like Patrick Mahomes. It just seems like they just like scared of him, almost like Tom Brady has, but. When people learn that you got to go and hit Tom Brady, people started doing that. But you know what I'm saying? It's different because he's, he's also elusive and he has, I think, you um, uh, underestimate his line. 
It's not like it's somebody on him. Every, that, but, like you see yeah. these, you see these touchdown passes, bro. Ain't nobody breathing down his neck. Or none of that shit. But that's why I think he's. I think he's a great quarterback, right? He he was gonna be a great quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. But I think he's taking advantage of what he got around him right now. So yeah. I I don't like that you say that and then say it about Tom Brady. What? Say what about Tom Brady? When he was in New England, that he had the same shit. Yeah, Tyreek Hill. He said Tyreek Hill. I mean, yeah, he had he great had offensive lines. He runs. had personnel for that system that gave him and put them in a in a in a um in a place to win championships, bro. You talking about offensive line and defensive line? I'm talking about the whole team. I don't know because about it's not basketball. Yeah, I'm talking about Adam Vinatieri and knowing that if he get him in a field goal range, he could kick this field goal and they could walk up this field as champs. I'm talking about. Well, do you uh, gotta worry about your Troy Brown? Do you gotta niggas. worry about your kicker if you got? Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and all these other players. Hill, Harmon, Pringle. This quarterbacks that have playing. the same amount of weapons that are Yeah, yeah, the and same. don't take advantage and not and not good quarterback. That's why I started off with saying he's he he would have been a great quarterback wherever he landed, but I think he's in a perfect team that just got everything ready for him. So I don't know if he how he would react if he would have been on Jacksonville. I don't know how many games he would have added to their win column. I just don't. At the same time when he came in, when he was the best defense in the league, when he started his career, you talking about that season? That, can, that's how you see? Yeah, maybe, right? What was their offense? But why like? do that? Why are you I'm, doing that to him and not Brady? Will, will, will Brady have one? I mean, Brady? I do, but I did say that about Brady in the beginning of his career. What if he wasn't drafted to Bill Belichick? What if Bill Belichick didn't see his whatever he saw in him and didn't draft him? What in, if LeBron was drafted to the King? And he would have got drafted to the Jets. What if LeBron was drafted to the King? LeBron's gonna be LeBron. I don't know. He ain't never have no coach or nothing. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. You're talking about the Kings with Mike Baby and no, no, Chris Russell? No, no, no. 2003? That was not 2003? Where did Mike Baby know? 2003? It was gone, bro. 2003? What was it? Um, Bobby what was Jackson was there. Uh, Hideo Turkoglu was already gone. Um, Doug Christie was there. Uh, uh, well, Chris Weppel was on uh, Detroit. That was the first game he played against Hunter. Bobby Jackson was out there. But he got drafted by the Cavs, who was just as trash as but any other team. They were in they were in the position and had Big Z. It was on the East, where the East was doodle -doo at that time, and he still missed the playoffs. But he was able to be in the I'm not saying nothing bad about Patrick Mahomes. Is my point. Just, but I'm just saying. Separate. I'm just saying. Just he, why he, niggas got to be on that team. We can't execute. You got a great team. I mean, try and he execute. Deshaun Watson <laughs> had <laughs> fucking DeAndre Hopkins. Don't just call Murray. That's it. Not even in the playoffs. He has Tyreek Hill. And Is Tyreek Hill? Is Tyreek Hill doing what he's doing? A lot, a lot of people don't say that. Is Tyreek Hill doing what he's doing with Patrick Mahomes if he's with Deshaun? What's he doing it with Alex Smith? Mm. Yes. It was more. It was more Travis Kelsey that year. It wasn't Tyreek Hill. Yeah, but we know who Tra we we know who Tyreek Hill was because of the plays mm. he was making. No, it saying. wasn't like this. But how I knew that he was on the team with Alex Smith? It wasn't like this, bro. Of course, it wasn't like this. But me and you could see what. Tyreek Hill is. That year where Alex Smith was Travis Kelsey breakout year, not Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Tyreek Hill breakout year was when Patrick Mahomes started starting. His first year, yeah. Yeah. So Tyreek Hill wasn't the name for Alex Smith, bro. I'm just saying, bro. He wasn't swinging that shit no 40 yards with Tyreek Hill. Because I believe that's why Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay. He was like, this, I got way better position players than I ever had. In New England, so yeah, of course. I mean, but the position players now is better than the position players then. Mm -hmm. Look at the tight end position, just in itself. I guess, but you got Travis yeah. Kelsey. 
You got Joyce Curry. You got Hobson. You got uh, Wilder. You got Ingram. Bro, them niggas is super freaks. Athletes. None of them better than Tony Gonzalez, though. Tony Gonzalez was one and one. Name you somebody else. Him? Name somebody else that's like them five back then in Tony Gonzalez town. Sam himself. Hmm. Not like that. Not like that. I'm just saying. Not like that. None of them better than Rob Gonkowski. But even Rob, he's not a super athletic tight end. He's a, a big dude with him. Y'all see, but y'all see who's in the Super Bowl, so. It's going to be Kansas City. The Chiefs and Buccaneers, and Buccaneers, and... Pirates versus the Indians. Excuse me. Excuse me. We'll break that down a little more probably in the next episode. They got to change the game, see? That made me say some racial shit. I don't like it. They still out here doing Tom Hawk and shit? They are. And they said that they wasn't going to do it, but... I'll leave that up to the natives. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. Shout out to the baby goat. Shout out to Tom Brady. He's going against the, the, the big goat. And this is the this is the, this will be the game where you know what I let him pass on the torch or you know chill for a minute, relax, breathe easy. It's all right. It's the passing of the torch. We are gonna get into breaking that up. Gonna, but this is definitely. He gonna pull up on him in the in the tunnel like Tim Duncan pulled up on Braun Bill yesterday. So uh, it's different. <laughs> Braun ain't had no chip there. It's all right, my nigga. Um and um. My son lies lost in the playoffs is to this nigga. Exactly. So check that out. Yeah. You gotta see me. You still gotta see me. <laughs> Man, he was supposed to beat that nigga there when he had a better team than the team he got now. You How about that? Me, oh, you hear that? What? what? He was supposed to beat him then when he had a better team then. City does now. It's supposed to is just oh, like, you ain't gonna supposed to is just like the word if. You gonna ignore everything after that. <laughs> He was supposed to, I was in his room, he was supposed to beat him then, with, and he had a better team then, than he has now. No way. No way. What's the better team? Who was there? Who was there? What are we talking about? The Patriots team? What year? <laughs> what you, wait. Two years 2018? Ago? When he went to the Super Bowl against That's the Rams? Year. Yeah. When he went to the Super Bowl against the Rams and scored 10 points? The that Super team Bowl, is better than this the team? The Super Bowl was trash. These niggas ain't playing the Super Bowl yet. Don't do that. Who's on that team? That team was fire. Who's on that team? That defense Who was, was on that team? Who was on that team? I don't know. Um, Tom Adam Brady. 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 Tom Brady. Gronk. Tom Brady. Brady. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the year he retired. Remember, he took two years off. Stop playing with yourself. He took a year off. He retired after the Super Bowl, my nigga. What are you talking about? Hey, listen. Why are you lying, sir? Man, Steph Curry. He retired after the Super Bowl when they was in the locker room and shit. Yeah, man, and they Steph had a little talk about. Look at you. I, I mean, I, there's nothing that you say. He had the same team that he always had with that defense with Steven. That's what I'm saying. And all the niggas, bro. That's why he left. It was nigga. a better team than it is now. I got this nigga Hennessy as my tight end. I can't throw to this nigga. I, I, whatever his name was, Lacoste, whatever his name was. You talking about last year? You don't talk about the team that you talking about. He had Lacoste. Gronk was on that team, bro. I guess. Gronk and Edelman was on that team. Edelman, bum ass. Bro. bro they, they didn't score 20 points in that playoff run. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. How they did it. If we played them. Who's we? The Chiefs. Played them in the AFC what was Championship the score? game. It definitely Check wasn't no 7-6. That's 2018? It's 2019. What year are we in? 2021, right? Yes. Shit is you talking about, son. You be mocking, son. They ain't scoring 20 over that whole playoff. What? Hold on. What play? What? 37 to 30? What you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Patriots over the Chiefs? It's the shot, and he be passionate about this shit. Like, what are you talking about? No, he said he wants that shit together, sir. Let you see, let you see. Well, he had on that team, though. That team is oh, not better than this God, team, is are, what I'm saying. Bro. That's what you are, tried to just bro. say. He had Sony Michelle coming out of his rookie year, wowing out of Alabama. He had Edelman, he had Gronk, he had White-Ass Hogan. Yes, mm-hmm. Told you Gronk was dead. Six receptions, 79 yards, 
Hebbman, seven receptions, 96 yards. Hogan, seven receptions, 60 yards. That team not better than this team. Yes, they are. This team is crazy. Yes, they are. Then Mike Evans, Rob Gronkowski, Chris Godwin, Landon Fournette, and whoever else is on that team. But I gotta get out of here. Listen, your man Steph Curry just passed Reggie Miller for second all time, three point. They was a wild card team this year? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. are you talking about, bro? They better than these niggas. That don't mean that. That mean a lot. It oh, means a lot. So now, so now being in the AFC East and winning the division every year don't mean nothing. Hmm? He was in the trash division, so he was never on a wild card team. When was he, when did you ever see him on a wild card team, bro? Never. Uh, exactly. I'm just talking about that. Yeah, he was eleven and five. He was eleven. He wasn't in a wild card team though. No, he, he just played in the wild card game. He was a division. That's it. The goat. That's it. I don't even this know what we're saying right now. This team is trash, bro. This, this team? Trash. Tell me. This team is trash compared to the other team. Nah, this team is crazy. That's why he going to get his ass kicked. See, you keep jumping to that. What you think about Steph being second all time? And threes? It's bound to happen. He's not passing, right? He definitely is going to pass, right? What are you talking about? I know that's He's like one season away from yeah. passing. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> what? He's definitely passing that nigga very soon. Yo, that's the King Jacker, bro. Pause. Nah, it's definitely better. Shout out to me for becoming a top fan in the Knicks page, bro. I'm not nigga, you heard? Him. Yes. We out of here, you heard? The Mets acknowledge me too, nigga. Cool. <laughs> There you go. Yankees don't acknowledge you. You know why? Because they busy winning. They don't give a fuck about their they don't fans. Fuck about their you know what I'm saying? They don't we care we fans them. losing teams. They, they like, about, yeah, that nigga been here. Always. <laughs> they don't care about giving niggas badges and Yankees. Why it's Knicks fans. Well, we about to get up out of here, man. I got to get to the nine to five, y'all. You know what I'm it's saying? It's definitely past nine. Yeah. And five. So for Don Cole's theory, get hippie, and y'all already know what we about to do. We about to get it.